Frank Scott from Falkirk in Scotland was just 35 when he began claiming disability living allowance. He wrote on his claim form that he was obese and suffering from osteoarthritis of the knees. An obese person is someone who is very overweight and this can cause difficulty in mobilising in itself. However, it can also lead to arthritis of the knees, a wear and tear arthritis which can cause pain and difficulty mobilising because of pain in that joint. Frank stated that his condition made him virtually unable to walk and that he needed help at all times, so he would be eligible for the disability living allowance. His case landed on the desk of Linda Russell, one of the fraud investigators at the Department for Work and Pensions. Frank Scott first came to the department's attention when we received an anonymous allegation through the internet which indicated that Frank Scott was claiming disability living allowance and was not as disabled as he had claimed on his application form. Following up on the anonymous allegation, we did some investigatory work and established that Frank Scott was actually working as a football coach. Now, people claiming disability living allowance are allowed to work and not lose their benefits. It was just the physical nature of Frank's job that was ringing alarm bells. Maybe he just coached from the sidelines and was valiantly coping with the pain. Through contact in the Scottish Football Association and through covert surveillance, we were able to establish his employer and receive details of the dates and times that he was employed. Armed with this information, the surveillance team was deployed. Over a week, they watched his every move. So, was Frank as immobile as he claimed? Dr Javid Abdelmanem is an independent medical expert who we've asked to take a look at the footage shot by the investigators. If he did have a severe osteoarthritis of the knees, you could expect to see a limp, difficulty in walking, walking slowly, or even signs of pain on his face. He has equal length paces, there's no limp. His rhythm is normal. That, that indicates that he doesn't seem to have a pain problem in any joint of the lower limb at all. From the surveillance, it was pretty obvious that Frank Scott his mobility was not as stated in his application form. He complains of obesity. He certainly looks overweight. It's hard to tell if he is indeed in the obese category or not. In any case, it's certainly not restricting his movement or impairing him. He's bouncing. He's kicking a ball to and fro. He's jogging between cones. No evidence of disability here. And the Department for Work and Pensions agreed. Frank was found to have been coaching football for almost five years, yet he was receiving benefits because he claimed he could barely walk. We were able to establish that Frank Scott had achieved a number of certificates in training through the football coaching. Here he is kicking a ball. He's got a high swing. He kicked the, the ball and his foot went over his hip. He's got good bounce. He doesn't show any evidence of skeletal disease. Being able to swing your leg to above your hip height in middle age, I would consider to be good going. He's not using elbow crutches to walk around, put it that way. It looks like our football coach may have been pulling a fast one.